Hello and welcome to the second part of the customizing process. <laughs> uh, so for this, uh, in this video, I am going to be drawing on the tattoos and rerouting the hair and somewhat styling it. So for the tattoos, I wasn't able to fit all of them. Um, it's just such a small figure that it's not possible for me, at least. But I I try to look up um, the tattoos and see which ones I liked and which ones I had like like a be like a good photo and like the location of where they were. Um, so for the big uh, tattoos, the black, the, the ones on the thighs, um, I should have worn gloves because it, it, the black ended up smudging, like my fingers would touch the black um, and then obviously smudge on the stomach and the knees and I just had to try to clean it up afterwards and it wasn't it wasn't fun um, so right here I am painting half of the head of the scalp black and the other half gray just to match the hair colors and to prevent the pink from showing through and then I just started rerouting the hair so what I do to reroute the hair is I get a little strand of hair not a strand like a little piece a little whatever and then I uh, wrap it around my finger and then I use the little rerouting tool which is just the needle uh, with like the eye cut at an angle and then I just uh, put the hair through the needle eye whatever and then I just stick it into the head and that's pretty much it. I am horrible at explaining, but yeah. So I just continued and I try to uh, fill in the hairline and then the middle part and then I filled in the rest. I put more hair towards like the right there where I'm showing you. And then I drew, I colored in uh, like the section of the bangs where I was going to try to make like a hairline in a way, just so that it didn't look weird whenever I separated the bangs and the, like, the rest of the hair. And once I was done, I squeezed fabric attack into the head hole <laughs> and just to I guess glue the hairs, plugs, and prevent them from coming out later whenever I styled it. So afterwards I used the boil wash method where I poured boiling water on top of the head just to flatten the hair. And then once I let it air dry, not completely, maybe for like an hour, and then I try to separate the hair. Uh, into the sections which were like the bangs and then like the little side hairs and then what would be the braids and I cut the bangs I cut them a little longer than they were just so that I wouldn't go too far and then I just continued cutting little by little until I got like the right length and the braids were kind of hard because it was it's it's oh it's a lot of hair 
and it's kind of short, but uh, like for the scale. So making braids, they end up kind of like thicker in a way. So they look kind of weird, but I had to work deal with it. So in order to make the hair uh, do the little weird thing that it does in the music video, I got some wire and I just try to like put it in the hair and to be able to shape it. And here I am just dressing up the doll. I actually made the clothes uh, by hand, which is kind of hard for me since I have no experience sewing. But yeah, if you would like a tutorial on how to make the clothes, then just comment down below. And thank you for watching and subscribe. And if you like the doll, it's for sale on my Etsy. So yeah, and thank you and goodbye.